California. I want you to know that I was born in Southern California in 1945, and I went to all of the California public schools. I had polio in 1952 and lived in an iron lung for a year and in Children's Hospital in L.A. County for a year. And then I was homeschooled for two years. Eventually, I was able to go to, back to school. I went to uh, State College at San Bernardino, at San Fernando, and I graduated from home, home, Humboldt State County, um, at Humboldt State University in 1967, and went immediately to work as an AFDC social worker in Humboldt County, and I've been paying taxes in this state in a wheelchair all of those 30 years, and I want this governor to know that my opinion counts. And what did I do with that degree that the people of California funded? My dad, a working class man, all his life, he was able to put his kids through college with no debt. And Don's friends, Don Smith, they're going to have a mortgage-sized debt when they get out of school before they can start paying taxes. Well, let me tell you, I have spent the last 30 years working in the anti-poverty movement from the Head Start program. I became an AFDC social worker. I was a school teacher in Southern California. And now I've worked at Resources for Independent Living for over 20 years with the goal of making sure that other little girls and boys in wheelchairs have a chance to pay taxes in the state of California. But it takes, it takes a lot. If you're severely disabled, you need somebody to get you up out of bed to go to school in the morning. And we have consumers at Resources for Independent Living that we're working on that. But while we're working on that, we got somebody shoveling you know what against the tides, yeah. telling us that we're going to cut the IHSS program. That is full of fraud. Yeah. He had the audacity while he was smoking one of those stogies. I can only guess what was in it. He had the audacity to say that there's 10 to 25 percent fraud in the IHSS program. He had nothing but his arrogant opinion to base that on. And when the white papers finally got filed in the district attorney's offices and out of the grand jury investigations, guess what? The biggest counties in the state, 2%. Do you think he was wrong on his math? Yeah.